Hey everyone, before you watch this video make sure you've seen the previous parts, links will be in the description. I don't have anything else to say except, love you, on to part 4. The two boys had just got back into Bakugo's room after their shower together, and Deko was somehow still feeling very shy and flustered as he looked toward his new boyfriend. Despite him now being partially clothed, even seeing him stood there drying his hair in his boxers was making Deka's heart race. When Bakugo looked up and noticed him staring he smiled smugly, stepping closer and reaching up to cup Deka's jaw. You're staring again. He cooed and leant in to kiss him softly, Deka sighed into the kiss and let his hands comfortably rest round Bakugo's waist, stroking his sides as they parted from the kiss. This is so, strange. Bakugo rolled his eyes and held Deka's chin, pecking his lips one more time and huffing. You've gotta stop overthinking about all this? That's impossible, my mind is constantly doing loops about what's going to happen for the rest of my stay here, or even scarier, when we go back to school? Bakugo shrugged nonchalantly, massaging Deka's tense shoulders a little. Well what do you think is gonna happen? What will we say to your parents, to our classmates? How will we act? We'll tell my parents we're dating. I don't see why it's anyone else's business but I guess we tell the class we're dating? I mean I'm sure they'll figure it out as soon as we go back considering I do not plan on restricting the amount I kiss you. In school? What, you're saying you won't wanna kiss me in school? Are you that much of a prude? Or are you embarrassed to say we're dating? Bakugo stepped back and crossed his arms, making Deku step forward and hold his waist again with an apologetic pout. Of course not. I'll be excited to tell everyone you're my boyfriend, that's so crazy to even say out loud. Then who cares if you kiss me at school? Well it makes people uncomfortable, PDA and stuff. I don't care. Besides I'm not saying I'm gonna turn around in class and start casually making out with you, though that does sound fun, but no, I just mean like, a kiss hello in the morning you know. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't think about the fact we won't be together like this when we go back to school, but once we're back we can spend a lot of time together in the dorms and stuff. Um, um I'm going to practically force you to move into my dorm you know, but until then, it's gonna be weird being here without you after you leave. We'll have a week of the break left where I'll be back home too, I'm sure we can spend some time together but I do need to catch up with my mom. You're talking to me as if I'm clingy and needy, you aren't supposed to think that, yet. I'm more thinking about myself. Oh really, I mean it's obvious you'd be the clingy type, you always have been with me. That was different. I just constantly watched everything you did cause you were so cool. Were? I'm still cool thank you very much, huff. Of course you are Ka-chan, super cool. He smiled sweetly and leant forward to connect their lips again, catching Bakugo off guard a little as he blushed. Ahem, are you getting tired? I'm totally tired. Why are you blushing so much? I'm not, this is my natural hue. You're so cute. Shut up nerd. Ka-chan. Deku as Bakugo tried to wriggle out of his grasp and hide his face, but the shorter boy held firm and tilted his head to keep meeting Bakugo's eyes. This is not how this should be, I'm supposed to make you flustered. Hey it can totally work both ways, I love seeing you flustered, but there are a lot of occasions where just looking at you gets me weak in the knees. As it should. Deku rolled his eyes but Bakugo's smug smile only grew as he tugged Deku onto his bed. Sleep up here with me from now on. Ah. But you hate being too close to people. Not with you I don't. Oh, are you sure? It's a double bed, I'm not asking you to smother me in your sleep. Even still, I wouldn't wanna push anything. I'm asking you, I think it'll be really nice. Jeez Kachan, I can finally tell you how much I love your smile. I know I've mentioned it before but really, you have the most beautiful smile, you look so soft and loving, it's the most heartfelt smile I've ever seen a person have, I hope you'll keep smiling more. Deku held Bakugo's hands as they lied on their sides facing one another, and Bakugo's smile had dropped into a look of doe-eyed surprise and awe. I never thought about it. I guess it just happens when I look at you. Deku's eyes widened before he rolled onto his back and put his arm over his face with an incredulous laugh. You're going to give me a heart attack one day, I might pass out from pure joy. You're a ball of cringe you know, just look at me, look, I'm just me. Just because I love you and think you're pretty as fuck and you make me happy, does not mean you're being blessed by the heavens or anything to get so worked up over. You have no idea Ka-chan. But I totally do. Cause you make me freak out when you're being all cute or hot. Ah what if I wake up tomorrow and none of this was real. Bakugo scoffed and sat up to straddle Deku, 
leaning down to hold his cheeks with both hands as Deku panicked and held his waist gently. Stop being so dramatic, it's real, and it's gonna stay real, you're my boyfriend and tomorrow we're going to go downstairs for breakfast and tell my parents we're dating, then we're going to spend the next week making out in here before life has to go back to normal? Oh okay. But even after you leave I'll still be hounding you every day to come over or go out or whatever else, this is life now. Okay? Yes, okay, I'm sure it'll sink in tomorrow, after we sleep, so, yeah, we should sleep. Deku nodded and Bakugo huffed, sliding off his body but staying mostly cuddled up against him. Is this okay? Um, mm, yeah, it's nice. Good, I love you. I love you too. Good night Kachan. Night nerd. The next day. Yeah so we're together now, and it's not weird. Oh yes definitely. I never said I thought it was weird honey. It's a little surprising but. No it's not it makes perfect sense. Come on Katsuki your father isn't quite as observant as I am. I don't think he knew about your feelings at all. Eh, neither did you? You totally didn't know anything? Um, I'm sure sweetie. Um, so you're okay with this? Why would we not be? Oh, um, just since, Kachan and I are both. Oh we've always known Katsuki was gay. Huh? You didn't know anything at all. Don't raise your voice at the table. Ahem, I'm your mother Katsuki of course I know these things. Anyway I'm very happy for you both. Make sure to let your mother know too Isuko. I can't wait to talk to her about it. Ah, uh, yes, um, thank you for supporting us. Cha, yeah, thanks. Always, have you both finished eating? Um, mm, it was delicious thank you. Of course, I would do the usual mother stuff and threaten you to treat my boy well, but I know that's unnecessary. You two are perfect together. I could never wish for Katsuki to have anyone better. Mom, you're going to make him cry, we're leaving. Th thank you so much Mitsuki-san. Bakugo held Deku's hand and pulled him from his chair, ready to drag him upstairs. But they were stopped as Mitsuki tugged them both into a hug and ruffled Deku's hair. Deku hugged back happily and Bakugo sighed, reluctantly accepting the hug for only a moment before getting bothered and pulling back. That's enough come on. Right I'll let you go now, I promise I'll try my best not to gush over you too much. Mitsuki and Masaru started to clear the table as Bakugo hummed quietly mumbling another thank you before leading Deku back to his room. I told you it would be fine. It was actually a lot nicer than I expected. Well, they can be annoying but, my parents are great really. They really are, it's no wonder you turned out so amazing. Alright geez you're such a flirt, how are you gonna tell your mom? Well, I was actually thinking, I'm sure she'd appreciate finding out in person, but I won't see her for another week, so maybe it's best to wait? Hmm. But wouldn't she feel a little upset knowing you didn't tell her right away? Hmm, maybe you're right, I could call her then? That's a little better than just a text. Video call her, we'll do it together. Deku hummed with a smile, reaching out to hold Bakugo's hand and playing with his fingers. You know, I also um, wanted to ask you out on our first real date today. Bakugo blushed and gulped nervously, gripping Deku's hand a little and breaking into a shy smile. Damn, you asked first huh? Sorry if you wanted to. Of course I did, but I don't mind you beat me to it. I wasn't really thinking anything specific. Part of me was being super weird about it in my own head, like it has to be amazing and perfect and super special, but then I realized that no matter what we do it'll be all those things. You're so cute, and you're right, it doesn't need to be anything fancy, we could just go to a cafe or something? Hmm? That sounds great Ka-chan, a cute coffee date. Bakugo blushed and began looking through his wardrobe mostly to avoid looking at Deku's preciously sweet smile, but also to decide what to wear while telling his new boyfriend's mom that they were dating. Do I have to dress all smart for this call? What? No silly, it's just me and my mom, dress how you always would. Hmm, I'll dress a little nicer than normal. You're funny. I'll just text her now to ask when she's free for a call. After Deku sent Inko a text he suddenly noticed all the other message notifications he had, clicking back and seeing they were all from Kami Nari, from last night. In private chat with Kami, Deku, you gotta tell me what happened OMG, you two totally aren't coming back, there's no way he's still teaching you to play right now, it's been half an hour, please just at least tell me if you finally left Delolo land and realized you're obsessed with each other, did you fuck, sorry. You don't have to tell me that. I swear I don't need the details I'm not that much of a freak just, I said I'd pay you if you hugged him, I'll double it if you guys made out. 
Wait I take that back I checked my wallet I don't have enough money. Anyway um, I'll go now, please message me when you wake up. Deku didn't know whether to laugh or panic, but the more he read the harder it was to hide his giggles. What's funny? Um, I have some messages you might wanna see, we totally forgot about the guys last night. Oh shit, let me guess, Dun's face has spammed you? Deku nodded and handed his phone to Bakugo for him to scroll and read, when he finished he laughed and passed it back. Just tell him to mind his own business. What? I could never be so rude to Kami, besides, it is kind of cute how badly he always wanted us to get together, and he was totally right the whole time. Hmm. But doesn't it make you feel all wrong inside to admit that he of all people was right? There's no way, he was just crazy and happened to get lucky with his guesses. Kami is totally smart sometimes. I wanna tell him. Well I have no problem with that, but I thought you were scared for people to know? This is different, I already know Kami wants us to be together you know, so there's no way it'll be awkward, I'll text him, oh my mom also said we can call in 10 minutes, in private chat with Kami, morning Kami, Deku omg, you replied so fast, I've been constantly checking my phone all morning, Kami I think you're maybe, a little too obsessed with this, no I swear I'm normal, Dude I promise as soon as you tell me what's going on I'll stop being crazy. I just need to know if I was right about something for once. Well, you were half right. Really? Kachan and I are dating now. Eeeeee. OMG OMG OMG. That's so cute. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Who topped? Eh, Kami we didn't, do that? Oh really? Then why did you vanish last night? Well we just were talking about everything you know. Right, you at least kissed right? You said you didn't need the details? Right right sorry I'm being creepy, I'll stop I swear. Please don't tell anyone else yet, Kachan and I will, well you know, it'll be obvious when we go back to school. Wait I have to keep it a secret? Well, I'd prefer that. Oh dear. Kami? No no I'll try my best I promise. Oh god I'm not very good at secrets, it might accidentally slip out. Sigh, that's fine Kami, just try your best yeah? I will? Thank you for telling me, I knew it for so long. I think you knew before Kachan or I did. I'm so smart omg. Totally Kami, anyways I gotta go get ready to call my mom, enjoy the rest of the break. Thank you you too. Oh and good luck. He's so funny. Did he freak out? Of course, he's super happy for us, and feels very smart. Sigh, he'll never let me live it down you know. Every time I call him stupid now he'll use this against me. Maybe you should try to stop insulting everyone so much then hmm? Yeah yeah I know, sometimes it's totally necessary though I swear. Sure Ka-chan, are you ready for the call? Bakugo pat down the front of his polo shirt and took a deep breath. I don't look stupid do I? What? Of course not, you look perfect. You would have said that no matter what I was wearing wouldn't you? Maybe, I promise though, you're fine, come sit she'll call any minute. Bakugo sat beside Deku on his bed and the shorter boy sweetly reached over to hold his hand, just as his phone started ringing. He answered the call and propped his phone up on the table in front of them both. Hi mom, hi sweetie, and hello Katsuki. I wasn't expecting you to be here, it's lovely to see you. My morning Inko-san, I hope you're doing well. I am thank you, I'm missing home and is Suku though, how has your week been? It's been really great mom. Oh I'm so glad. Last time we spoke over the phone you sounded a little stressed, I know you keep telling me you're fine but I couldn't help worrying, but now seeing you like this, you really do look relaxed and happy, I'm so relieved. Ah mom, there was never a reason to worry, wasn't that why you asked for me to stay here? Of course, I trust Mitsuki with you always, and I hoped you and Katsuki would get along better. And we have, right Kachan? Hmm, yeah, um, it's been really nice. Thank you for letting him stay with us, Kachan. Deku nudged into him shyly and Inko had to bring a hand up to cover her bright grin through the phone, clearing her throat to stop herself from laughing sweetly at them both. I don't want you to get the wrong idea Katsuki, but, you've matured so much, thank you for being so lovely to Isuko, it means so much to me. Mom, we actually wanted to tell you something. Well I don't have super long of my break left so, what was it sweetheart? Kachan and I are. Deku gulped nervously, somehow finding it difficult to get the words out, even though he knew in his heart his mother would have nothing but love and support for them both, it's as though his throat refused to let him speak. We're dating now, I love your son a lot, and I'm really sorry for how I treated him in the past, 
I hope you can give me the chance to prove to you how much I care about him, I promise to treat him well. Deku watched the side of Bakugo's face in awe, subconsciously squeezing his hand tighter, until Bakugo brought it up to his lips for a sweet kiss. When Deku looked back to his phone he noticed the tears falling from his mother's eyes, as she smiled softly at them both. Of course you have my blessing Katsuki, I couldn't dream of anyone else being with my boy, you've always been the one who makes him happiest, despite your past, but that's exactly what it is, the past, and you've grown into a wonderful young man, thank you for looking after him while I can't. Mom, don't cry, thank you so much for trusting in me. Isuku honey I'm so happy for you, this is what you always wanted, I feel like I can finally stop worrying so much about you. Alright mom that's a little embarrassing. Always wanted huh? No matter how badly you fell out when you were younger, Isuka never stopped trying to win back your respect and approval. I'm glad you finally noticed how hard he's been working. He deserves a lot better than me. Deku turned with a shocked frown and instinctively hit Bakugo's shoulder, making the blonde boy's eyes widen as he sat up in surprise. Don't say that. How could you think that? Huff. Huh. It's the truth. Why are you so offended? It is not the truth. If you keep thinking like that I'll get really upset. You are the absolute best for me Kachan nobody else could ever compare. Alright alright I didn't realize you'd get mad at me for just stating the obvious but. Deku hit him again and was about to start yelling but stopped as he heard his mother's laughter from his phone. You two are so funny. I have to get back to work now boys. Please don't start fighting over who loves who more. Ah, sorry mom. Thank you for supporting us. Of course darling. I'll talk to you soon. The boys bowed and waved until Inko ended the call and they both sighed a breath of relief. I don't know why I was so scared to do that. I was super nervous too, I was honestly worried your mom hated me cause of middle school. She never hated you silly, she knew how much I admired you, she wasn't allowed to hate you. You're such a simp. Huh, you are too. Deku sat up and crossed his arms with red cheeks, glaring down at Bakugo who made no attempt to defend himself. Can we make out before we go out? Eh, uh, oh the date, no, get off your lazy butt let's go enjoy our day. Ugh, but I wanna kiss right now, can I have a kiss? Don't look at me like that. Cha are you going to be all stingy like this all the time? I just went through a stressful experience convincing your mom how worthy of your love I am, I deserve a kiss, huff. I wanna go out for our date though. Hey don't use my own puppy eye tactic against me, one quick kiss then we go? No making out for half an hour though promise? Sure? Totally. Say you promise. Sigh, you're no fun, I promise. Deku grinned and leant forward to connect their lips, getting ready to pull back just as fast, but Bakugo quickly tugged him back down onto the bed and climbed over him. You said not half an hour, I have 29 minutes for kisses right now. Kachan? One hour later. Is your drink nice? Um, -hmm. wanna try it? Oh. Thank you. The two boys were sat at a window table in a small cafe in town, sipping their drinks and enjoying their first real date. Bakugo held his iced coffee out for Deku to take a sip from the straw, and he hummed in approval of the taste before gesturing his own drink toward the blonde boy. You know thanks yours is too sweet. It's not? Sure it's got cinnamon, and chocolate, and caramel, but I swear the cream like balances it all out. The cream is sweet too. Don't come crying to me when you've got rotten teeth and I don't wanna kiss you anymore. Deku gasped and held a hand to his chest, taking another slurp of his sugary sweet frappuccino with a pout. I take good care of my teeth actually. I know, your pretty smile proves it. Deku instinctively smiled at the compliment before looking down bashfully and swinging his legs under his chair. Is it bad that we're totally missing training today to go on a date? Oh, I didn't even realize. Gosh who even am I anymore? Hee <laughs> hee. I've tarnished your perfect reputation. Maybe it's good for me. You actually think so? Well everyone always tells me I train too hard and study too much. Maybe it's good to let myself have a whole day off. Of course it is. I just never thought you'd agree. We can't let this happen too often though. We'll see, I'll get you to loosen up a bit. Deku's mind went to a dirty place again and he felt his face heating up, even in public he couldn't help himself. What? Why do you look scared all of a sudden? No nothing, you just, what you said, it. What did I say, loosen you, oh, yeah, yeesh you weren't joking about the dirty thoughts yesterday. Deku whined and avoided Bakugo's eyes, finishing off his sweet beverage and staring out the cafe window. 
Maybe I meant it both. Oh god Ka Chan wait. Shit. What? Some girls from class are literally about to come in. Oh, well we've finished our drinks so, we can leave if you didn't want to socialize, I don't really want to. Well, it's not that it's just, they're going to see us on our date. Are you seriously still worrying about this? It doesn't matter come on. We'll just see them on our way out and then we won't get stuck into a long conversation. Bakugo stood and held Deku's hand, leaving a tip on their table since they had paid before getting their drinks and heading toward the door. As expected, they quickly became face to face with Yuruka, Su, Momo, and Jiro, who all froze in shock, staring at the two boys and their entwined hands. Ah, uh, oh, hey girls. Afternoon Deku-chan, Bakugo-chan, how has your break been? It's been pretty good. This place is real nice by the way, don't get the same sugary sweet shit this dummy got though. Hey, it was really nice. Um, it's nice to see you both, getting along. Jiro nodded nonchalantly as Momo and Su smiled brightly at them both, and Yuruka stared at Deko in complete confusion. Are you, on a, our first date, yeah, it's about time. Congrats, thank you. You're dating Bakugo? Yuruka was practically staring into Deko's soul probably wondering if this was some sort of elaborate prank set up by Bakugo to trick them all. Yeah, I'm really happy. That's so cute. Yurika stammered at a loss for words, before hurriedly tugging Deko into a tight, almost too tight, hug. I'm so glad. I'm so happy you finally don't have to worry anymore about Bakugo and your crazy up and down relationship. Bakugo rolled his eyes but looked over them both fondly nonetheless. I finally get why you two are such good friends. You're just as dramatic as each other. I'm sorry, I just always saw how nervous Deku got whenever you two had to spend time together, but also how bright and sparkly his eyes got every time he talked about you. I'm so glad you finally realized how great he is. I always knew he was great, you don't know anything. You had a bad way of showing it then. What does it matter to you anyway huh? Bakugo stepped forward and Deku panicked, pulling his arm back and stepping between them. Kachan, Yurika just cares about me, she's one of my best friends, she basically heard all my worries all the time you can't be mad at her. But also Yurika, my nan Kachan's relationship was always complicated, but you know I always knew he cared about me, I never told you I thought otherwise. Bakugo made a smug hump sound and hugged Deku from behind, childishly sticking his tongue out at Yurika from over his shoulder. Alright children isn't that enough fighting? Bakugo lifted his chin getting ready to yell until Deku giggled and held his hands that were resting round his stomach, making the blonde boy stop and smile at him instead. Oh my god stop they're so adorable. Huh, cha, we're leaving now. Oh um, enjoy your dates. Bakugo dragged him out the cafe as the girls were waving, until they began to blush in realization. Wait, how did he know? Tsu reached down to grab her and lead her toward the counter. Don't worry your pretty head. The boys had lazily stayed home for most of Deku's last week at Bakugo's, only going training one more time which honestly ended up with their limbs tangled and lips locked for an hour at the back of the warehouse. They had seriously become infatuated with one another, barely being able to stay more than one centimeter apart. Bakugo's parents were both working until the evening on Deku's last day, so he suggested that he put his cooking lessons to the test and help Bakugo make them a thank you dinner and cake for dessert. I kind of can't believe you've actually improved this much you know. Of course I have. I had the best teacher. It honestly looks really good, my parents will love it, they'll get home in like, oh, any minute now. I would be nervous, but I know it'll taste amazing since everything you cook does, maybe one day I'll cook something by myself that you'll be proud of. I'm sure you will, sigh, I'm annoyed they're getting home so soon, no time to sneak off for some kisses. You're so needy, of course. Just as they were leaning in to connect their lips the front door unlocked and Mitsuki and Masaru walked in. Ga I was just about to get a kiss? Keep that to yourselves, oh, what have you two been up to in the kitchen? This smells incredible. We cooked dinner? Ka-chan has been giving me cooking tips while I've been here and, I wanted to make you something to say thank you for letting me stay. You didn't have to do that? It's been a pleasure. I would steal you to stay here forever if I could, but your mother misses you and... Soon you'll both be back to your dorms. You make it sound like you'll never see us again. We'll come visit, if you'd like for me to join Ka-chan sometimes. Of course. Now, let's not let your wonderful cooking get cold, hmm? Go sit down we'll dish it up. Wow the full restaurant treatment. We also baked a cake? 
And I cracked the eggs myself this time. You're so precious is Suku. Da mom of course he is. The boys brought all the dishes over and sat with Bakugo's parents to eat. They all enjoyed the meal together, talking and smiling and laughing. It was a wonderful way to spend Deku's last evening with them, and by the time they had finished eating Mitsuki was gushing over how thankful she was. I know you made this dinner to thank us but is Suka sweetie I really can't express how grateful I am to have been able to welcome you into our home. You've brought so much joy into the house since you've been here. You've made Katsuki the happiest I've ever seen him. I just need you to know how thankful I am. Deku was struggling to respond to such heartfelt praise and love. He really didn't want to start crying, and as Bakugo reached out to hold his hand under the table he felt his heart swelling in his chest. I don't know what to say, other than just thanking you again. You don't have to say anything, the dinner and cake was lovely boys, we'll let you enjoy the rest of your night now, right love? Of course? I'm working early tomorrow so I'll make you both breakfast for when you wake up, but I'll say goodbye to you now Han. They all stood from the table and Deku shyly accepted a hug from Mitsuki, feeling warm inside from the motherly hug he'd missed from home. And then as usual, Bakugo led them both back up to his bedroom. Hey, you wanna watch a movie? Hmm that sounds nice cuddle and movie time, can we watch a cute one? We can watch whatever you wanna watch, it is your last night here. Now you sound dramatic. I don't mean to be. I can't help that I'm not exactly looking forward to it either. I know, but really it's only a week and then when we're at the dorms we can spend a lot of time together again? Um hmm, what movie do you wanna watch? They settled on Bakugo's bed as the blonde boy set up his laptop, Deku comfortably curling into him. Hmm, have you seen Stranger by the Shore? No? What's it about? Um, two boys, who fall in love. Oh, I've never been super into, romantic mushy films, but maybe I'll like this one. I'm sure you will, they're so cute Kachan. Alright alright I'm finding it. Bakugo found himself actually getting very invested in the movie, finding the story incredibly endearing, and having his boyfriend there with him only made it all the more sweet. We have to find more movies like that one. I know a few. We can watch more at the dorms. Why I never thought I'd ever be sat here in my bed cuddling with my boyfriend watching mushy cute gay movies. This is the right way to live life. You are correct. Did you pack everything ready for tomorrow? Yeah. My clothes my hero gear my nerd books. Hmm. Speaking of nerd books, can you finally show me mine? Eh, uh, um, I don't think that's a good idea. You wanted to show me before we were dating, now suddenly you don't. Well you didn't want to see it before so now it's too late. I know why. What, there isn't a reason really. Bad liar, Kachan I really don't want you to see. I need to know if you drew me hot or not. Of course I did, I drew you accurately. Then let me see, please. Bakugo gave Deku the best puppy eyes he could muster, even jutting his lower lip out in a pout, making the freckled boy huff with a blush and roll out of his grip on the bed. Fine, you aren't allowed to make fun of me. I won't I swear. He sighed and rummaged through his bag for Bakugo's book nervously bringing it back to the bed and handing it to his boyfriend. Bakugo excitedly flipped through the pages, skim reading some of Deku's notes and smiling fondly when he read praise. Until he finally reached the page he was looking for, and Deku immediately hid his face in embarrassment. Damn, you drew me, hot. Duh. I said I drew you exactly how you are? No no you accentuated some things. Nah, your muscles are exactly like this? How did you draw my expression like that? Oh, I just, I could picture it in my mind, even though you'd never looked at me like that, it's pretty accurate right? Maybe, you totally made my butt bigger. Ka-chan, you're crazy. Huh? If anything your butt is bigger than I drew it, it's peachier, rounder, and squishier. You gotta stop talking about my ass right now. Deku rolled his eyes and turned to straddle Bakugo's legs grabbing his hands and almost manhandling him to lay down. Roll onto your stomach. Hey, you can't just. Kachan roll. Bakugo's eyes widened as Deku frowned sternly at him, making him blush and gulp. Yeesh alright I'm rolling. Deku lifted onto his knees so Bakugo could roll onto his stomach, before sitting himself down on the back of his legs. I'm totally right. This doesn't prove anything to me, I can't see my own ass in this position. You don't trust me? You're prone to exaggerating. Deku huffed and caught Bakugo by surprise as he brought his hands up and gripped both of Bakugo's butt cheeks through his joggers. You can surely feel how my hands are struggling to get a hold of all that flesh. 
You're really testing your luck here you know. What? I can't grab my boyfriend's ass. Oh no you totally can. Just have to be prepared for the consequences. What kind of consequences are we talking? Hm, I might keep that to myself. While we're here though I'd love a massage. Really? Huh? I'd love to give you a massage. I didn't know you'd be excited. I'm supposed to be excited. Take off your shirt. You keep ordering me around this is. Kachan do you want a massage or not? Goddamn nerd I'm stripping alright. He huffed and got up. Practically throwing Deku off the bed in the process. Before he pulled his shirt off and tugged down his joggers. Sorry. I'm just excited. Bakugo rolled his eyes and stepped closer to Deku holding his chin and pulling him forward for a soft kiss. Your excitement is cute, sorry for yelling. Deku smiled again and Bakugo lied back onto his stomach on the bed, feeling his boyfriend giddily clamber over him again. I've never actually given a massage before so, sorry if I suck at this. I'm sure literally anything would feel good right now. Deku hesitantly started kneading his hands into the toned muscles of Bakugo's back, paying extra attention to any places he felt were more tense. His mouth was watering at the way the smooth skin rippled beneath his fingers, and before long Bakugo was humming contently each time Deku stretched out one of his knots. You're so good at this. I'm glad, I'll be able to do it whenever you feel sore from training. I'll try returning the favor sometime too. Hmm, god this feels so good. Bakugo's voice was coming out in a deep pleasured gravel and it was starting to make Deku feel a little hot inside. He subconsciously started pressing a little harder, lower on his back, admiring the dips and curves of his body with a little more purpose. Kachan you're so hot. Hmm? You think? Fuck. Hey now don't start cussing on me again. Deku shuffled lower down Bakugo's legs and slowly pressed his hands lower along with the movement, until he was once again kneading the flesh of his boyfriend's peachy behind. Come on Izuku what are you getting at? You can just ask you know? It's my last night here Kachan. We probably won't see each other for a week after tonight. Your point? Don't you wanna, make the most of our time? Hmm, I sure do. What were you thinking my love? Bakugo was enjoying teasing Deku, but the poor boy was completely losing it, while still being way too shy to actually voice what he wanted. Please Kachan. He practically whispered, and Bakugo finally decided he'd put him through enough. He turned over on the bed and sat up with Deku, immediately noticing the bulge in his shorts. I think we're on the same page. He slowly connected their lips and Deku immediately melted against him, letting his hands go over Bakugo's shoulders as the blonde boy brought him onto his lap. Okay so this time round I'm going to completely cut the smut out of YouTube. I'm sorry but I do not feel comfortable putting actual sexual description on YouTube so, I won't be. If you want to read this part, bearing in mind it'll be extremely NSFW and detailed, it will be over on Wattpad. I wasn't going to put it on Wattpad but I was getting so many comments I've decided to do that. It just means any videos with smut are going to take a bit longer since I end up writing so detailed on there. My Wattpad has always been linked in the video descriptions but yeah, go read it if you want. If not, or if you've just come back, now they're bathing, enjoy. Deku was suddenly feeling very clingy, even insisting on washing Bakugo himself carefully running the soapy cloth over his arms, while simultaneously pressing chaste kisses to his shoulders and neck. Hmm, this is nice but, what's up with you? I'm just making the most of being with you. Sigh, you were telling me to stop being dramatic earlier, it's just a week, I promise being at the dorms will be just like this. Not really, everyone else will be around. Okay but in the evenings it'll be the same. Hmm, Deku stayed quiet and rinsed the soap from Bakugo's arms, getting surprised as his boyfriend turned in the tub and splashed him with water. Look you spent so long washing me now I'm done and you're still dirty. I'm gonna go get clean sheets okay? Wash up and stop worrying. He pecked his lips sweetly before climbing out the bathtub, wrapping his towel around his waist and leaving Deku to finish up on his own and clear his mind. It didn't take long for Deku to snap out of it, purely from already missing Bakugo, so he hurriedly washed himself, not too fast though, he definitely made sure he was clean. By the time he got back into Bakugo's bedroom the bed was freshly made and his boyfriend was laying cozily under the sheets on his phone. Whatcha doing? Texting the guys, shitty hair is saying Dunn's face is acting weird. Probably because he's struggling to keep the secret. Deku climbed into bed next to him and they cuddled up closely. Bakugo sent one final text before putting his phone away and wrapping his arm round Deku's back. I'm exhausted. Hmm, same. We'll sleep good tonight that's for sure. 
Um, um, I love you Kachan. Love you too. One week later, Deku hadn't seen Bakugo a single time since he left his house, they messaged every day and called most nights but they didn't get another chance to see each other in person. This had made them both extremely antsy for today, their first day back at school. But as Deku entered the classroom and didn't see Bakugo at his desk, he just got even more impatient, sitting with a huff and staring at the door. Morning Midoriya, did you enjoy the rest of your break? Oh, yeah it was nice thanks Todoroki-kun, how about you, are things okay at home? Hmm, it could be worse, I managed to escape and spend a few nights with Siro during the last week, I think spending that long at home actually started to rebuild some tension. Oh no, I hope it all works out okay, but I'm glad you could get away for a bit. Deku? Hearing his name yelled so suddenly made Deku whip back round in his chair, staring with wide eyes as Kaminari rushed into the classroom and immediately crouched by Deku's desk. Are you okay? Shush. He looked around the classroom sketchily before leaning in close to Deku and whispering. So, I managed to keep the secret, but Kiri and Siro are totally suspicious now because I pretty much had to stop talking about you guys completely. Kami it's fine, but like Kiribro was totally on board with me that night you guys vanished, and then when I found out the next day I just had to completely shut down any conversations about you, now he's totally sus of me, I suck at keeping secrets but you actually trusted me enough to tell me so I knew I couldn't say anything I wouldn't be able to live with myself and, Ka-chan, the moment he saw his boyfriend push open the door Deku shot up from his desk, making Kami freeze and stare in panic as Bakugo made his way toward them. He frowned at Kaminari down on the floor in confusion, before looking to Deku with literal hearts in his eyes and the happiest smile. Morning, I missed you. He brushed Deku's cheek and gently brought him forward to connect their lips in a sweet kiss. All of Deku's previous worries evaporated as he finally kissed his boyfriend again, a week really was too long for him. I missed you so much. Huh? Deku's eyes widened as he looked back down at Kaminari, who looked almost betrayed. What? You made me keep it a secret just so you could come in and immediately kiss in front of everyone? What? They kissed, and you did know something. Kiri and Siro just entered the classroom behind Yurika and Ida who were still frozen in shock. Siro facepalmed as his friends immediately started arguing with each other, and Bakugo raised an eyebrow at the girl who actually knew about them beforehand. Why are you so surprised? Eh? I just, part of me still felt like it was a joke, but you actually kissed, in school? You knew as well? We caught them on a date. How come we didn't get this information? It didn't feel right to tell everyone you know. I'm supposed to know all the drama? It's not supposed to be drama. Oh no? I'm sorry I didn't mean it like that. I just hate being the last one to find new stuff out, but I'm happy for you both. For real they are so cute? Just saying, if you guys ever need a third. Absolutely not? Deku blushed but couldn't hold back his giggles at the smug look on Todoroki's face, he really did enjoy teasing Bakugo. I can't believe this. I can't believe they made me keep it a secret just for this? Kami I'm sorry, I just didn't want you telling everyone because it would become a whole thing for everyone to gossip about, and how would they know if you were telling the truth or whatever else, I just wanted it all to be natural. Sigh, that makes sense, okay, fine. I'm not mad anymore. I can finally rub it in your faces that I was right. He turned back to Kiri and Siro to gloat as everyone finally settled into their seats, Bakugo kissing Deku's cheek before sitting in front of him just as Aizawa entered the classroom. Morning morning, welcome back from your break, and congratulations on all getting your assignments in on time. Your first task today is to write a short essay about what you improved while training during your break. Bakugo smirked smugly and turned a little in his desk to look at his boyfriend. We both know you still never improved your flexibility. Eh? You guys can't just start talking about your sex life in class do you want me to die? Kami? It has nothing to do with that. Stop making everything weird Dunn's face I'm literally talking about his inability to do the splits. That still sounds sexual. I really don't want to get involved but can you please quiet down and get started. Sorry Aizawa sensei. The rest of the day went smoothly, it all felt like things were actually back to normal, Deku could focus well and get his work done, and nobody else made any comments about the new couple for the rest of class. When it was over and they were making their way back to the dorms, hands clasped together as Deku rambled happily about their planned training later that week. You wanna come back to my dorm? Oh, um, I don't think I need to do any extra studying today. You're so gay it hurts me. 
What's that supposed to mean? I'm so single and lonely. Don't worry about it, dude. You wanna come up to my dorm? Really? Sure, we can play some games or something. I'd love to. God, you're dramatic. They reached their dorms, Kiri's was next to Bakugo's, and the red-haired boy couldn't help but hesitate for a moment. Uh, I don't mean to be weird but, I am happy for you guys. It's just, I don't know how soundproof these walls are. Eh? Sorry? I just mean, like, you know? Couples do stuff, and if I heard you doing that stuff I don't think I could ever look at you the same again? Dude why are you complaining about this? You pervert. We're not, we won't, oh my god I can't even speak right now. Deku was so flustered by the entire interaction and even Bakugo was getting a little embarrassed, these were his best friends after all. Dude you're spending too much time with this idiot, I obviously wouldn't want you to hear shit either we're not, freaks. Damn it. Kami please? Look until I have a, partner, I'm going to be horny and alone? Dude you need help. Yes, help me. Huh? Me? Yeah dude help me? Right, have fun with that, we're gonna head in now. So you'll keep it quiet right? Deku was ready to combust from embarrassment by this point, and Bakugo just rolled his eyes in annoyance, before turning to his best friend with a smug smirk. You know what, I would get some earplugs just in case. Kachan? Bakugo laughed and ushered Deku through his door, leaving Kiri looking mortified and Kami practically foaming at the mouth. Do you have cups we can put up to the wall, that amplifies sound you know? Why am I friends with you? Dude we're going down to your dorm, come on. But, maybe I'll give you a kiss or something you freak. Dude don't lie to me I'll cry, will you actually, bro? End of the series. This was a struggle oh my god, I enjoyed writing this series but I'm glad it's over and I can start a new one. Next video will probably be a fun little one-parter to kind of reset from this long story format, my brain needs a refresh. I hope you all enjoyed this story. Thanks for watching, I love you all so much.